CES 2024 just wrapped up. We saw a lot of cool devices coming to market later this year, and I'm excited to share with you guys some of my favorite devices that were showcased at CES this year. So stay tuned. The U300 door handle smart lock is Akara's newest smart lock and is packed with some great features. Starting with the fact that it's Akara's first smart lock compatible with Matter Over Threat. You will be able to use this smart lock both indoor and outdoor. And what makes this lock so interesting is the ability to be opened in so many different ways. It includes a fingerprint scanner, conveniently placed where your thumb will land when trying to open the door. You will be able to use a pin code and NFC, which I would assume will allow you to use Apple's home key, and via voice using your favorite voice assistant. If all this fails though, you can open it with a traditional key, which is hidden under the fingerprint sensor. The Hub M3 is Akara's latest innovation that not only works as a hub to connect your Akara devices, but as a matter controller, which will allow integration with third-party matter devices. It will include support for Thread, Matter, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Infrared. It connects via 2.4 and 5 GHz dual band Wi-Fi and supports power over Ethernet. This will be available later this year. Akara also introduced a new smart plug. This plug will work as a Thread border router and it features dual band Wi-Fi and of course Thread. I'm excited to see what Govi has in store for us. Since they implemented Matter to some of their devices, like the M1 Light Strip and the Permanent Outdoor Lights Pro last year, we can now get them natively into our Apple homes. In 2024, more of Govi devices will support Matter. And for outdoor use, their Permanent Outdoor Lights Pro and the Govi Outdoor Wall Light, as well as their Outdoor Curtain Lights. For indoor use, they showcase their Govi Neon Rope Light 2, the TV Backlight, and the TV Light Bar that will all support Matter, as well as the Govi Floor Light Pro that will be available later this year. Nanoleaf announced that their Skylight, which was first introduced last year, will be available later this month. They also introduced their first outdoor string lights as well as their permanent outdoor lights. The skylight will fit flush with your ceiling and each square will emit 1400 lumens. It will work with all of Nanoleaf's native features, but installation is a little different from Nanoleaf's other devices as you will have to hardwire one of the squares by replacing the current light fixture in that room. And then you can expand them up to 99 squares. It will connect via Wi-Fi and will work with Apple Home where you will be able to control it as you would any other light. For access to scenes and other cool lighting effects, you will need to use the Nanoleaf app. The outdoor string and permanent outdoor lights will work with Apple Home via Matter. Once in Apple Home, you will be able to control and set automations like you will normally do. But again, for more lighting effects, you will need to use the Nanoleaf app. Utech showcased a lot of smart home devices like bulbs, smart plugs that will all support Matter as well as a home key enabled smart lock. Flick also showcased their Flick button as well as Flick Twist which should get Matter support in the upcoming months. And let's not forget robot vacuums. A lot of them will work with Apple Home via the new Matter 1.2 update that should roll out this year. But before everything CES started, Apple stole the spotlight by announcing the release of Vision Pro February 2nd with pre-orders beginning on the 19th of January. That's all for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Peace.